ready to dive into a day in my life in Roatan and experience island living firsthand? Ever wonder what does a typical day in Roatan look like for a local? Well, prepare to be amazed as we uncover the authentic charm of Roatan like never before. Today, I'm taking you on a journey through my daily ritual and adventures in Roatan. As I awaken in the morning, the first thing I do is step out onto my deck, greeted by the gentle touch of a cool breeze. It's the perfect start to my day, especially when there's no rush. With the sun just beginning to rise, I grab the broom to sweep away the scattered leaves that have gathered overnight. The rhythmic swish of the bristles against the ground is oddly soothing. Next, I reach for a black trash bag, methodically collecting any stray debris to ensure the deck remains pristine. There's something oddly satisfying about tidying up, especially in the tranquil moments of the morning. As I work, I take in the peaceful surroundings, savoring the stillness before the day truly begins. And of course, no morning on the deck is complete without a steaming cup of hot cocoa. It's rich aroma mingling with the crisp air as I indulge in this simple pleasure, feeding the cool breeze with warmth and contentment. Roatan Honduras paints a lively picture on its roads, bustling with activity and local charm. Among the scenes, small tricycles serve up mouth-watering street food to eager locals on the move. The main modes of transportation here are bicycles, four-wheelers, foot travel, and cars, each weaving through the vibrant streets. As I journey through, I notice large water tanks adorning rooftops, a practical solution to water distribution. Utilizing gravity saves costs compared to electric pumps. However, amidst the hustle, street workers, often without proper attire, blend seamlessly into the crowd resembling everyday civilians. Caution signs are scarce, adding to the raw energy of the scene where everyone seems to be on the move, hustling to make ends meet. Meanwhile, the sight of electric wires dangling precariously from poles serves as a reminder of the dynamic and sometimes precarious nature of life on these streets. Ever wondered what a Rotan store looks like amidst the lively streets? Join me as we venture into one of the biggest stores on the island for an inside look at its vibrant offerings. All right, y'all, so we are here in midday, so show you the air a little bit. We got all kinds of things here to buy. This one that I am at right now is actually located in Coxon Hole, near Brick Bay area. So this is the midday, so I'm gonna show you a few things that they have here available for houses, all kinds of towels and stuff, and sinks back there. Your windows you can get installed right here, all your windows right here. So yeah. My dad called me right now and see what's going on. Hello? Hello? No, light not out down here. What? See that's the problem with raw time. See, light always going out. So I was just checking online just now, it don't show nothing about when light gonna be back on. I don't got no estimate time, no nothing on what when light come back on. And that's just on the east end side right now. So I just got a call from my dad saying that light is off and my mom is sick right now, so and she needs like because the AC and this is what we're dealing with on the island. I don't know. It just frustrated a little bit, but oh, this is what we need for the house. It's very important you get a fire thing or two. Oh yeah. Pero quieren ver el precio primero? Sí. One of these two, no? Oh, you can check the price right there. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy-eight hundred. Okay. Ah, uh, ¿cuál está la función? We got to try with the scanner. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm waiting. Okay. No, that's good. Salam, good. Salam, good. Salam, good. Ever wonder where to find the most reasonable groceries on the island? Look no further than the vibrant, bustling marketplace of French Harbor. 
It's not just a store, it's a gateway to the freshest, most affordable kitchen staples and local delights, making every shopping trip an adventure in supporting the community and discovering the best deals. Uh, we are here in La Fuentes. Take a good look at it. The Ramirez area. All right. Sit around a little bit. This week's trip to the store in French Harbor was a bit different from my usual rounds. Not only was I on a mission to stock up the house with all the necessary kitchen staples like flour, sugar, beans, and a variety of condiments, but I also had a special list for an upcoming event my mom is hosting next week. The store, known for its reasonable prices and wide selection, was the perfect place to find everything from fresh vegetables and fruits to unique items that will make the event extra special. As always, I made sure to support the local vendors stationed nearby, picking up some distinctive goods that will add a local touch to our event. It's not just about getting the shopping done, it's about creating an experience that supports the community and brings a local flavor to our table. Whether it's for the house or a special occasion, shopping here feels like contributing to a larger communal cause, making each purchase all the more meaningful. I make it a point to tip generously for their help. It's a simple way to express gratitude and support the local economy. Ever wonder what a true island culinary adventure looks like? Well, let me take you on a trip to Petroson, located right in front of Jackson Plaza. Here, you can indulge in delicious island food from 12 p.m. Monday through Friday. But today, they're serving an extra special variety of island favorites, from stewed chicken to stewed beef, baked chicken, an assortment of vegetables, rice and beans, and many others. I usually opt for the stewed beef paired with rice and beans, adding a side of vegetables to round out the meal. To top it off, I enjoy it with a Canada Dry Soda, a refreshing choice. This meal will set you back about eight to $15, but trust me, it's worth every penny for a taste of the island's best, right in the heart of the city. Ever wondered where to find American goods on Roatan Island? My search led me straight to Eldon Supermarket. Especially after several attempts to find certain items elsewhere turned up empty. It's here that I wrap up most of my shopping, particularly for meat products. The quality of items I consider essential is simply better at Eldon's. Despite the prices being somewhat higher, compared to other local stores. But in those moments when you're searching for something specific, maybe a taste of home or a particular brand that no other store seems to carry, Eldon's is almost guaranteed to have it. For anyone trying to track down American products or just quality goods in general, Eldon Supermarket is a treasure trove worth exploring. Always remember to tip the helpers who assist you with your groceries. It's a small gesture that makes a big difference in showing appreciation for their help. Through these vlogs, I aim to offer insights into finding the best local deals, quality groceries, and unique finds, hoping to enrich your daily life on the island. If you have any suggestions or insights from your own experiences, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below.